What's going on everyone? Good morning. Back at it. At home church, still in this room that I do not have a name for. And uh, yeah, feeling pretty good. Today's probably gonna be a little bit weird of a day. Um, I think in this room, I'm only going to mop it and I'm using a, a really stiff brush uh, to do that with a degreaser. That's going to get a lot of the grime off of the ground and in some research, everyone's saying use a degreaser. So that's what we're doing. I think that's all we're going to do today because um, my buddy Jesse, who is a member of Home Church, he's a killer bassist, musician, of other instruments, producer, engineer, and electrician. So he and I are going to put up a bunch of lights in the fellowship hall today. Uh, that's been a huge project. A lot been going on there, so I'm going to show you all what we're doing in there a little bit later. But right now, enjoy watching me scrape the floor. Mop the floor, brush the floor. What am I doing? I don't know. So here's how it's looking. Got two fans in here. Um, gonna let this get nice and dry. If there's a lot of wet spots left, I'll bring a squeegee in. A uh, floor squeegee. Get rid of it. it. Looks a lot nicer on camera than it does in person. But yeah, gonna let this dry and gonna get to some lights. Six hours later. Hey everyone, so the lights did not go up as easily as Jesse and I thought. I will get more into that later in the video. But um, the floor is mostly dry uh, in the room that is unnamed. I really need to come up with something. And I'm going to put some uh, crack sealer down. I'm going to use this and I'm going to use the crack sealer. Uh, the crack sealer I got from Seal Master and it says, um, well, I'll show it to you. So here it is, clear cracked sealant from Sportsmaster. Uh, this is actually for like tennis courts, basketball courts, stuff like that. But after talking with uh, the guy over at Sealmaster, he said this would work well for us. It says um, is a clear cracked sealant and to prep, Crack must be cleaned entirely dust, dirt, and debris, including vegetation. Fortunately, there is no vegetation in the building. Well, in these cracks, at least. Um, application, just fill it. It's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to do that. Y'all will see me do that. And we'll see how it looks tomorrow. All right, let's get to it. Well, as you can see, I may or may not have been wearing my respirator, and I'm finished. Uh, yeah, so when I first got started with the sealant, I was thinking, you know, I'm just gonna do everything. And then I got to it, and I was like, oh, well, I don't need to do everything. There aren't huge gaps throughout, it's not consistent. And then that lasted about 10 minutes, and then it was like, okay, well, I'm pretty much gonna do everything. And that's what I did, as you all saw. So let me show you how we're looking. 
It's actually, it's drying pretty quickly. Uh, happy about that. And at first I was like, um, so is this supposed to be white? But yeah. And I think it's looking okay. I mean, it's pretty straightforward and nothing to it. As you can see, the deeper cavity, that's of course gonna take a little bit longer because there is more um, sealant in there, but around it, you see that there's the, uh, it's, it's more dry. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. I scraped it a bunch, put it down rather, and yeah. Uh, over here, we had some just concrete that was a little chipped. Um, so it's probably about ha half an inch, maybe a quarter to half an inch down. And I just lathered that baby up. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, I think it'll be fine. So that's everything. Um, I think that wraps it up in here. We'll jump into the fellowship hall and take a look at what Jesse and I did in there. But yeah, let me know what y'all think. This is a room that we have no purpose for. Originally, I wasn't even going to use crack filler. And then I was like, I have to. So I did. And we're here. I'm tired. It's okay. Yeah. So I'm going to let this dry. Um, the whole mopping thing I did. The room looks dusty to me. So I think I'm just going to mop with like some Lysol tomorrow and we'll see how it's looking. And I think we're getting pretty close to start painting and I'm super excited to see how it goes down. And that's really gonna transform this room from ew, ugly to, okay, it's a room. All right, let's go look at Fellowship Hall. Okay, in the Fellowship Hall now, so Jesse came over, we started working on the lights. It did not go as smoothly as we had hoped, but next time we do it, we really feel confident that we have a system worked out and you know, we, uh, we're gonna just throw them up and get moving. So I'll show y'all what we did and what the plan is. And hopefully I spoke with him next week. He's gonna come in. I, I'm hoping that we get it done. That's gonna be really great. All right, let's look. So we got not one, not two, but three lights up. Okay. Um, yeah, so we got three lights up. I think we got like 29 more to go. And there was a lot that had to be done. So let's start right here. Y'all see, where is he? There he is. You see that, that clamp? And you see that clamp? And then you can't see it, but there's a clamp under there. So there's three clamps right here and then four. So we got four clamps right here. Um, the conduit, and we can take a look. See down here, see that bad boy? See how he's he's riding low, he's sagging? Yeah, so just brought him up. Brought him up and then put them through the, uh, whatever that's called, what's that called? Let me know in the comments. Put it through there. So before it was sitting right there and if it fell, I mean it fell. Now, if these, all these clamps were to give out, which they won't, it will be caught in those joints. So we did that. He also had to cut the conduit. It was like, it was too tall. Or, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know why they didn't just put it up that way, but that is neither here nor now. <sighs> okay, so we had to cut it to size, and there were like a bunch of extra wires in there. He pulled all that out. And the first one we put up, that was a nightmare because your boy may or may not have cut the wire too short and then he needed to come bail me out. But he put that one up, got a plan together, showed me how to do it and we did that. Now, that's not all. Y'all remember that really gross um, open black conduit? Yeah, that dude right there used to look like that bad boy and we got the fabric cable and all that nonsense and it's hot and we don't know what it's doing. Well, we got uh, box extensions so it's basically, there's, that's a hollow box. And because there's so many wires in there, we didn't want to go just putting a cover on it. So we put that box up and then, as you can see, the octagonal cover is on that. And that just, it's safer that way. We didn't have to go messing with anything. And yeah, that's that. So there's about 12 of them throughout the whole room. 
and we'll put 12 of those octagonal extension boxes and then the octagonal covers on. And yeah, so next time we come in, pretty much the plan is he's going to boost up the conduit. I think these guys are ready. No, they're not, almost. They just need the pipe, uh, the clamps on. And then I'm going to follow and just put up the, uh, put up the lights. Now I know y'all are dying to see how they look, but I may or may not have taken the uh, bulbs out and put them in a different room. So go check my Instagram if you want to see how they look. Matt Milstein on Instagram. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. Uh, excuse the mess, please. Yeah, so <laughs> thank you all for watching. So I think that wraps it up for today. Thank you all for watching. Um, I appreciate you guys actually wanting to look at this stuff. Like I said before, that's pretty cool. And let me know what you guys would like to see, what projects. Y'all haven't even seen anything else in the church aside from the fellowship hall, a couple bathrooms, the vestibule, and that unnamed room. There's a lot to come. I'm off school for the foreseeable future. And then it's online, which I love online classes, so I'm not worried. So I think I'm gonna be here a lot. I'm gonna be here for the summer. And uh, yeah, I love working here. I love the church. And it's really cool to see everything kind of take shape. There's a lot of history here. So I wish y'all the best. Be safe. I wish y'all the best. Be safe, have fun. Enjoy your weekend, and go ahead and try something new. All right, see you later, y'all. Peace.